was shown in the G attacks. And I'm using Chris, I showed why. If your solution is to meet and harmonize with that <laughs> sword there, you're not going to do it. There's too much velocity and you're right on the attack line. Okay? But in most Aikido curricula, in the post-war period, that technique survives. So the only way you can get away with practice is if partner goes like that or just kind of dangles the hand out there so there's not this power and velocity and then you can deflect them into the technique. But you've left behind the martiality of it. So that leads us to what I was talking about. I forget which page this is on in the book that you have. but uh, Here is the description by O Sensei for Shomenuchi, and this is uh, Ikkyo Omotewaza. Okay? Shomenuchi Ikkyo Omotewaza, 1938. O Sensei's description. Face your partner in I Hamni. What does that mean? Mutual stance. Mutual right stance. Right. Right. If he has his right foot forward, you have your right foot forward. So Yaku Hami is, he has his right and you have your left foot. Okay, so this is Ai Hami. Initiate the movement. This is Nage. Right. Initiate the movement by advancing with your right foot. When he attacked me yesterday, who initiated the movement? He did. He did. And I was responding to that. So the, the conditions are horrible for doing a collision type technique. I said, we never want to start that way. So, Nage initiates the movement by advancing <coughs> with his right foot while vigorously extending right tegatana into the rib. Okay. So, this is an exercise. In one sense, he's passive. And so, I hang in. Right foot forward, right foot forward. Now I'm going to be doing the throw, I'm not again, he's uke. But for this one, he doesn't initiate. So I can hear, like that he protects himself. What's the other part of it? This softens him up a little bit. It's all I like did. This is all sensei, the man of harmony, etc. I came into the ribs. <laughs> okay. But guys, then the technique works. Because uh, this is a static technique. This is the basics. This is how we run the mechanics. When I began my career, we did almost no techniques from static position. Occasionally, we would allow the person to grab. Everything was keen on the body. If I was doing something with a wrist grab, I'd offer my hand to grab it, and I would you know, move around in a sloppy way, <laughs> and then do a technique. But God forbid, when I went to Iwama, and he did a uh, even a beginning student who's been there for a few months and maybe works in the field, and they grab your hand and you go, oh God, I can't move at all. You can't, as a martial artist, be in that situation where you don't have the conditions that you hoped for or practiced for, and he can literally paralyze you just with the strength of his grip. So how are you going to even start a technique? The way you do it is you start learning under good conditions. We create good, safe conditions, because we don't want to deal with a high velocity attack, we create a condition where I initiate. This is an exception to the normal curriculum. Nage does not normally initiate for basics. Come here and further help us in our job of unbalancing a partner, Atemi, for both of them. And then technique begins to work and we can practice safely and with confidence. Yes? I, I was thinking about this last night. I'm glad you're talking about this because of course, this is this is the only technique where Nagi, at least in Iwama style, where in, Nagi initiates. And and in, in a strange way, because I read your article on plane coming down here, in a strange way, this this does fall into that issue of distracting them. Because when when you come in as Nagi, yes. it does distract them at that point, Absolutely. and therefore therefore you may be able to um, uh, to initiate the technique. But it also goes with what you were talking about last night. We rarely. Do an actual show and strike for the same reason you're talking about. It's so hard to, to time it. And in the dojo, we may be able to do it, but somebody's really angry, really coming at you. I mean, that's that's yeah. that's a heavy load. So we do do shomonuchi nikyo with with the nage initiating, because then it all works for us. It, it, it's like we 
almost artificially create a situation we so that it's going to work. We create good learning conditions. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like going into a foreign language class and they have the charts up there, blue, red, and everything. You don't have that in daily life, but it accelerates your learning. This accelerates our learning for a situation that would be very hard to deal with if, if our partner came in and attacked sincerely and strongly. Yeah, well, essentially what you've done at that point is say, I'm never going to assume he's going to attack me in this situation. I'm always going to attack him. It's like you just sort of ignore that other situation. Yeah, it's, it's a very good point. It, it's a good way of training initiative. Or uh, in this case, it's like sen sen no sen. In other words, where Nage takes the initiative from the very beginning. He sees a situation where he must physically deal with a, uh, an encounter with a, a person. And what he does is seize the initiative. Because, again, if the uh, attacker begins first, you're playing catch up, and your chances of succeeding are so small, just from a time standpoint. Okay? So, yes, I agree totally. When someone you're speaking with someone explaining Aikido's, this harmonious <laughs> and defensive, <laughs> defensive art, and then you said, hey, go initiate. I had someone write an article for my website, and what they wrote was, oh, Aikido never initiates. And I said, oh, y'all got to change that. That's not accurate. <laughs> that doesn't work. So, however, uh, in, in our interaction, is, are we saying that because they've stepped in our sphere and we felt their energy or that forcefulness coming, that was really the, the, the they crossed the line so now we're defending ourselves by moving first. Is exactly. That the idea? You know, a, a way of easily understanding is that let's say that someone else, a loved one, is being attacked, and, but not you or not. You witness it. In order to engage and hopefully get the, the person out of the situation safely, you have to initiate the attack. So if, if we create that scenario, then it makes perfect sense. Right. Okay. But what you have to be able to do is what Japanese call Jaki, you have to uh, sense evil intent in your partner, so you know that you, okay, I move. It'll happen automatically because there's no time to go through a reasoning process. Right? Thank you. So, and, but uh, Hal's point is very well taken. See, uh, th this blend here is not just a blend. See, it affected his posture too. And this affects it even more than the technique. He's a big, strong guy. If I just come and try to do something like that, I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey! And I can do it. Makes sense. I, I, I changed the uh, conditions. Okay, let's see. There's one other thing. Oh, yeah. This is what I thought to. I have to write it down because I'll forget it. I had uh, an uh, epiphany. Name off the attacks that we use typically in IT. Just send them out. Just Kata -tedori. Kata -tedori. What is it? Katatedori. Katatedori. Okay. Gyakutedori. Okay. Yokumanuchi. Shiranuchi. Okay. Ski. Okay. Shiranuchi. Okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Okay. Now, I can divide them into two categories. What would the two categories be? Grabs and strikes. strikes. Grabs and strikes. Okay. So, if we're dealing with, for example, with Munetsky, we've got to get off the line. There's not, no way. I, but I've seen people try to grab the punch. Can they grab your punch? No, sir. You're very difficult. <laughs> Sheer luck. And even in Yoko Minucci, we can't really wait for our partner to uh, attack us in Yoko Minucci. If we do, we get back here and then we're struggling. So if, if I want to do like any wama I'm coming here, I have, to, I have to initiate, I have to take the initiative here. Probably sen sen no sen is better. Then I can do it. Otherwise, I have to play catch up, and I'll need to do something here to, to re equalize things for me. The, you know, how we did last night. Then I can maybe get along with it. But if I wait for him to initiate before I move, I'm dead. I can't use anything. Okay. 
So, in the grabbing part of the curriculum, you can do gono sen, and you can do static technique. Partner starts with a grab, and you can do it and reposition yourself, take your partner's balance. But in the striking portion of the curriculum, you've got the speed and velocity of a, of a sincere attack, so you can't practice static basics. So, O Sensei Solution, I don't know if he talked about if he thought about it in these terms, but he created a different scenario for learning the basic technique where instead of Uke initiating, Go no Sen, Nage initiates. And I, I think what he says about Shomenuchi can equally apply to Yokomenuchi as well, unless you're practicing moving in front of your partner. But I, I think that the Yoko Minushi strike, certainly the way we practice it, it tends to be slower than the, this strike here. Because here we can come all the way down. But most people come out here and they do like round hands. They load up. They load up, exactly. So you got a little bit more time. But it's not like being grabbed. Okay, so time becomes critical when you start dealing with the striking attacks. Okay, so let us do a little work with Shomenuchi, because it's a perfect model, and here's the good guys. You can say, well, he changed it after the war. He did, okay, maybe he did. What documentation do you have to support that? This, you know, there's, we have a photo, and we have what he, he wrote. It's in print, so it's a good learning point. I'm not saying he didn't make changes after the war. He did, but a lot of these basic concepts, these martial concepts, he did not change. They just never got carried over into the post-war era. Okay, so I want to do uh, Susie, which is becoming. Here's what we're going to do. I come in, okay. I come, and I do what amounts to I came into the face. Okay, and she matches that. It's good timing practice for her. But instead of here, you may have even a little problem, but so you come in here also. That softens her up, and you come here. And enter in my fist. And just to go ahead and this was my little tiny guy. Hey? Yep, oops. We don't push the arm down. We just we have her extended and we just lower. Because if, if we push down, we're not using our body as a single unit. If we lower from the knees with extension here, the body is functioning as a unit. Okay? Try that. <laughs> 